into it. Shadow Fiend is going to be the first grab up for Digital Chaos. Elite Wolves are going to be responding with Tusk, and we get to watch another Alchemist game. Yeah, right. overrated will it succeed, hero. Or will it not? So the, the shortcomings for DC's Alchemist in their previous series against Cloud9, a lot of people felt, was just they had this huge power curve, and then they didn't, they didn't use it. They didn't do anything. They didn't do it, anything. Right. They're like, we're rich. Let's get richer. Right. Yeah, that doesn't work. And But, um... I like I like the Shadow Fiend for DC. Both uh, Yuar and uh, TC can play it. Uh, Tusk's always a good hero. Winter, Wyver Winter Wyvern always good as well. Alchemist is so overrated. AA is nice to get against an Alk. Wolves are Ruins definitely banning Darkseer this game, right? I, I wouldn't mind we'll not see. seeing the hero, so yes. Okay, there we go. Things yeah, are that, that was a mistake last game, not banning it phase a two. A bit stale, so. so I'm happy to see. And they've changed a bit more. Oh wait, no, Van, Van was drafting last game. They've changed. I guess they just changed the player seats. So, yeah. They, Apparently, also last game, according to the Phage guy, that was Van's first Necrophos game in pro record. And Blaze has also been saying that Kotaro is not playing on this team, at least not on his main name. But these are also guys who have known to change accounts around and stuff so you can't really make no one really knows who the hell's playing on this team to be honest with you. Oh, at least that was for unknown. So, okay. Um Chaos neither off laner. Broodmother is in the game, just something to keep in mind in general. They could creep it in. Uh how come they're not doing like the whole first pick brood like we were seeing at ESL? That was the ESL meta. What happened to Brood? These teams just don't care to play Brood or they're not comfortable enough with the hero that they can confidently first or second round pick it. They have to still wait for the stars to align before it Maybe. seems like an appropriate as, brood game. As much as like brood looked unstoppable in certain hands, mag in particular, that hero does bring nothing to the table if it doesn't have that kind of early presence. So it's a bit risky from a drafting strategy point of view to pick the brood that early because if the brood fails, the whole draft generally is going to fall apart. So I think it just goes with this is a tight game. It's an elimination match. Maybe you pick a brood, but especially since it hasn't been getting picked, there's no need to grab it right away. It's often been available in the second stage. I don't think they're that confident with it either in general. Do we League Bulls pick up something like a Venomancer here? Benefit yeah, well, a bit from you definitely want to at least one really solid Agonim's carrier. Quap is banned, that's been one of the big ones. Night Stalker is also banned. Benno AA comes to mind. Sure, AA is not bad, it's good against Elk, but the 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 problem I have with it is just it doesn't do anything else besides alt. Yeah. Uh, it's a super reactionary or he's seriously, like, it sounds pun like punished, but he's like seriously the most chill hero. You just sit back, you <laughs> yeah, just wobble, yeah. so you just chill. Yeah. Just you had a long day, you know, you just want to relax. I play it sometimes in pubs, I'm just like, I don't want to do anything except farm on the side and shoot an ice blast. And you become so reliant on your team to do things for you, and yeah. uh, shouldn't do that. Pick a, oh, Spirit Breaker is banned, so uh, yeah. very good ban I'm, out I'm of... Really, Wolves have made good adjustments in this draft. Thinking long and hard, though, about what they're going to potentially go for is their third grab. So what have they been running for Smash? Is he the Alchemist player? No. Uh, I've never seen him play it. I would Wolves assume it's just not, something for Van. Because they have yet to run Alk style. in their last 10 games. So here's that they've run quite a bit over Wind Ranger. Yes. Um, let's see. They've had a couple of Shadow Fiends here and there. Shadow oh. Fiend, yeah. He, of course, TA, he's really well known mm. for. You mentioned the Van Slark. They focus even more on the landing, the landing stage. They're going to grab it on dying. I welcome this. That means there's going to be action for sure. That, to me, was the biggest problem last game, was they tried to put pressure with the Tusk, un or, uh, Tusk Dazzled dual lane, but it just didn't work because there was a Doom in the lane, and they just didn't have enough firepower once he got the Satter level one, which was a bit lucky by TC, but still... I think looking to punish any sort of greed from DC and play the Wolves game. The Wolves game is aggression. The Wolves game is lane dominance. Yeah, maybe the Alk will farm, but the rest of the lanes, they want to be strong and have a chance to just dominate early on. So they grab on dying. Nobody particularly amazing at killing the tomb. No particularly mobile heroes or heavy attack speed buffs. They could get like Yawar the Wind Ranger, which helps against the tomb, and then have Shaofing be played up by TC. They could give... 
uh, Biryu the Winter Wyvern and get Aoi and Naga to help Razor. with the tomb. Or they could just ignore everything and get a Razor for TC. Well, Razor versus a triple melee light up. This could be interesting. Very good hero against that early game aggression from the Tusk Undying. Whether or not it's a full on dual lane, we'll see. They are putting everything out there. Like that that's the cores now for DC. They might pick a Naga just to uh deal with the uh the undying tomb. Oh yeah. That's and then it also I works said. really well Oh, <laughs> just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's okay. That makes me know that I said something correct. Sorry, I was doing Charlie's work. multitasking. Yeah, sorry, I got a sorry guys, I had a No, I and message I agree coming. with that. It could be something they fall back for. It's a Naui classic hero. Without question. And they'll need ways to deal with the tomb. Yeah, so I have no idea who plays the Alc, which makes it a little hard to predict how the draft's going to go. Generally, we see the Alc. In fact, almost always we see the Alc mid. I've seen one safe lane Alc. That just makes me a bit nervous. For some of these teams, these South American teams, they always seem to do better when they play their kind of game. Now they're playing these heroes we've never seen them play before, but are being played, and I feel like oh. they're forced to conform their style, this, and it doesn't work out well for them. This was banned second phase in game one, but it does slip through here. Mainly, I think, because they wanted to ban good Aghanim Scepter heroes. And DC, looking for some rune control, looking for some pressure, are going to grab a bounty. I guess this will probably be the Buryu hero again. No, Aoi. No, th oh, this is Aoi. Bir so Buryu's back on Wyvern, then. He is on the Wyvern. He is mm. not going to get a lot of farm, but um, I think he should have a better game. This, th this game is not going to be anything like the... I would uh, like to see them swap those two, honestly. And have Buryu play the bounty? Yeah. The hero that moves around, creates pressure early, doesn't... I mean, bounty doesn't need farm. Uh, it's much more in well, line with the Spirit Breaker game than, than having him back on Wyvern. Yeah, I think... Um, oh. I, that that might be ideal if he could play it, or if he was comfortable playing it with playing it, but he hasn't played it a single time since. That's so. fair. Yeah, I mean, I guess we saw that with Wolves. They picked the Ember for Van, and he was clearly not comfortable. And got punished. DC seemed to think that it is Smash playing Alchemist, fanning out the PL. They may be right. Yeah, Wolves with the safety Broodmother ban. Can they creep in uh, the Slark now? Is that bad, though? That's a lot of melee, then. Well, it's you know they're going to pick a core. A ranged core? Is it drow time? I don't know. Hmm. Do they have gap closing right now? They don't really have a way to catch her. <laughs> Gyrocopter, of course. Oh. So it is pick. a smash alchemist, not something you hey, see very often. Gyro eggs, man. Let's see it. <laughs> <laughs> Summon your inner miniature bulldog. You know. No, the eggs are dying. Well, of course, I'm not saying that in seriousness. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah, dying eggs is actually. Hey, we get to see the bulba clockwork finally. The yeah. visage is great, though. We didn't talk about that, but just being able to give a visage a free eggs and then let him go straight for solar crest. Maybe an AC if he's getting a lot of farm. That's really strong. Let's we'll see if they'll be able to get it here. So, there's a five-man spread. Feeling a bit more action-packed. A lot of emphasis, especially from the Elite Wolves, in their laning Well, stage. Charlie, I know, you, I know you really like the Bulba Clock. I do really like the Bulba Clock. This is, uh, this is the hero that he needs to play some sort of space-creating hero like this. I also like it because it's very self-sustaining. Um, it frees up the bounty hunter to sort of do whatever he wants, and then when Wyvern can sap in, pull for EXP in the in the safe lane. Um, not the easiest matchup though versus Gyro. No, it's not. But in in later stages, Clock is pretty good against Gyro. You can isolate him, force that force yourself out. Yeah. Um, Smash Gyro. Gyro mid, gyro or are they mid? just swapping the lanes here? I think it's a Gyro mid. Mm, boots first with a dust. This is. Oh no. A safe lane gyro, I'm pretty sure. And they've oh. given Van the sentry so that he can drop one mid. So they're going to swap up the lanes. Interesting. Elimination match. Let's what a way to begin. Let's do something we never know. Pause hype. Okay. Do you want to do some bets, guys, over unders? How many pauses how this game? Pause is how, many pauses? How, how many pauses? pauses how many pauses? How many pauses? Yes. How many pauses? Yes. How many pauses? Yes. How many pauses? Oh <laughs> I'm going to say four. God. No, you have to pick a, a non-integer oh, number. 4.5. 4.5. I'm taking the over on that. I'm taking the over. I'm taking the over. Uh, sh you have to take Can the I get under higher? to raise it. <laughs> Damn it. I would, I'd go higher, honestly. I would, too. Can How I much higher? higher? How high would 6. you guys 6.5. How high would you guys Ooh. get? 6.5. Ooh. I'll go lower than that. 
Five. Okay, let's do five point five. Right in the middle. I'll take the over. Over on five point. Over. I'll, I'll do under on five point five. I'll say under. Does this count? One. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Of yes, course. yes. One. Okay. So four to four to go. All right. Yes. If it's four or less, you win. If it's five or more, we win. Math. What do we? What's on the line here? I don't know. We have we made the new groups. We can draw the new groups now. Yeah. Okay. Um. By the way, the cat stole one of the. Uh, yeah, there's a chip down there. The cats are stealing the chips, huh? They're cheating. Yeah. All right. Let's make teams because we're not watching Dota. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Um. How do we draw? So, so how do, I wasn't production. here the first time, so. They rolled last time. Okay. Oh my god. All right. I can go to the roll screen here. Let's roll it up. Let's go get our roll going. All right. So do, who, do I just start rolling? Well, yeah. we have to set the rule. Well, I guess just say a name and then. Okay. I'm back. Okay. All right. Lyrical. Lyrical has rolled a 69. Mm. Oh, man. That's dang. That's so dang. <laughs> Lyrical, <laughs> you're a memer. Gerg. Gerg has rolled a 27. Terrible number for a terrible person. All right. There we go. Me. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey. 59. <laughs> a yeah. barely heard fuck you Winter. rings out from around the corner. <laughs> Winter. Winter. 22. Charlie. Charlie. 88. All right. That is the year I was born. LD. LDZ, excuse you. Is 13. That is my honorific. Okay. Ben. Ben's uh, okay. We got time. Just keep that up. You can do it. Ben. Alright, guys. So while we finish Seven. rolling, you can see what's happening here. Owie 2000 on the bounty man. Moving out, heading towards bottom. Smash bought the dust. He did pass it off to the tusk. Oh, actually, no, it was Misko. I guess Smash sold his. So, 33. Gonna see him mosey on down bottom. Okay. AUI trying to get the wards out early. We'll block up the camp. Have we finished the rolling? I think so. She is now assessing the teams based on their rolled numbers. And the we'll have our new their teams numbers. shortly. It doesn't look like I missed too much. Both teams respecting each other. Smash and hanging in the bottom. Owie, who has been floating around. They planted one sentry, it looks like here. Oh, Smash getting punished early. He's got to be careful. Very annoying when you're not the guy with the dust. He's actually going for the what, rune. What are you going to do over there? Importantly, they are going to secure the bounty rune for Van. DC not able to contest both runes. But this is already a huge advantage for DC. Smash losing three tangos off the bat and still not even going to be full HP. So the teams are going to okay. be Eldizi and Merlizi. That's the red team. Green will be Winter and Gerg. Oh, God. They're in trouble. Black will be the, probably the well, bit of a boring team. Gods and Coddle guy. White We've will be Lyrical and Charlie. And now they're going on mid. Okay. You are caught out. This is the start of the That's pain. This, is, about, this is Wolves Dota. That's, Run at you. Yeah. Get early kills. Yeah, do some work. There you go. Just put you are in a hurt locker. Shadow thing gonna be brought down a peg. This is what we saw happen to them in the la in that one series where Smash was playing Shadow Fiend. They're like, hey, maybe we can incorporate that and just spank this mid laner over and over again. <laughs> we'll see if it's something. Looks like they wanted to do some stacking as well, but Masoku gets bullied by the bounty, so Aoi definitely having his presence felt here early on. They also invest in the sentry. For now, we don't see Van with any points in concoction. I'm curious if he goes to level it up and sticks with the one greed, or if he goes full greed mode, which I would say it's been overall the more successful build in general. But they also, if they do decide to hang around too much in that mid lane, Bulba might have oh, too smash. good of a time. And He's in trouble. It's a little poke. Now. now we're going to tank a rocket barrage. His Windwalk was on cooldown. That's a lot of damage with only two tangos left. But Smash is out of regen, and that may just win Bulba the lane. They have not gone to help him whatsoever. If they are trying to dual lane the off lane, but this is the power of the Razor. Someone who can actually stand up to these melee bruisers early on. And now the scramble for the bounty rune shall commence. So Masoku went back to heal. He's going to ferry out, be the courier for Smash, bring him his tango so that 
the courier is available for Elk to get his bottle soon. And let's see. Will the RNG be with the wolves? It will not get wrecked. Unfortunate. Bottom is going to be the bounty rune, and it's going to be for the bounty hunter. Now he will be able to snag that one up. Pull back and away. So, fortunately, a bit of a letdown there for your Elk. And we'll have to head back and do it the old fashioned way here. Yeah, for Wolves, I think, really looking for the level 3 on the Tusk Undying, and then we may see them try to make a move. They do scout out Owie, and Smash runs directly at him, pops the dust. Owie, no teleport scroll. But I don't know if Smash will kill him in time. He's got one more rocket barrage. Yep, with no boots. Owie needs to juke this, needs to fog him, deny to the neutrals. No such luck. Too many instances of damage from Smash. We'll get the kill, but Bulba is looking for the Masoku, punishes a counterplay, and there's no mana on Smash. He definitely can't go in on this. So overall, a back and forth start here early on. Bulba Claw Craigasm. Bulba Claw Craigasm. Smash trying to get his phase boots ASAP. And with no mana, he may just go down. All right, gets a good lock here. Masoko is going to try to assist Smash, but has nope, no defensive it. capability to do so. That's a double. And with that, a battery salt chase comes out from Bulba and. It's like a double I said, kill. He, he really knows that hero. Oh, yeah. And that's, he's 2v1. That's pretty cocky by Smash, though. You have no mana for Rocket Barrage. You don't know the Bounty Hunter's coming bottom, but you're also not able to... It doesn't matter if you're near the clock. You can't threaten him with the Rocket Barrage, so... Yeah. Not the best play by Smash. But, again, this isn't his normal position. He's normally the mid laner. And we talked about... Oh, another dust. Smash, he wants vengeance. The same exact story repeated. Will it be a different ending for Owie? Dust wearing off soon, but not in time. The creeps even trying to assist the former EG player. All right, good for Lee Wolves to get those kind of freebie kills after getting picked off. Evens the game back up now. Three and three. Van continues to see us up a bit. 19 and two in comparison to the Shadow Fiends. 22 and six. Four minute rune comes and goes, and Van doesn't want to bother. They're with snowballing it. top lane, making the move on TC. Shards are out. They drop the tomb, even a decay, but. Quick TP reaction from Owie, and they're going to get to farm up that delicious tombstone. Oh, they don't get the last hit. Oh, oh man, just stuck yo, himself yo, 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 yo. <laughs> He got it there. He got it there. Sorry. Went a bit hammer on that one, but while that action broke out top lane, we were just yeah. watching mid. Yeah. Van almost killed himself. Yeah, he went to a little bit of a greedier build. Went the 2-1-1, uh, or 2-1-2, rather than the 3-1-1 uh, that we saw earlier. Well, that, that definitely hurts the Alk, who... It's only at 2,700 net worth. Did he get a bounty rune at four minutes? Did anyone see? No, the clock got it. No, he just sat there. That's what I was saying. Like, he just like, I don't even want to bother. Oh, this time they're going to punish Bulba. This is a big kill. He's level five and a half already, and they will bring him down. That is desperately needed experience for Wolves. Oh, two. Okay, two pauses. <laughs> and oh. counting. Just like you take, I take a little bit here. Back to four and four. How's TC been doing up here? Bassy, Wraith Band ready to go. Aquila in the works, not too shabby. Biryu doesn't get to play his aggressive support, so he's kind of stuck on the babysitting sure. duty, which is pretty much all they could ask for I'm here. We have yet like to see this aggro lane really be aggro, so that's a, that's a win in the DC book. Oh, man. Oh, three. three pauses. I'm a, I'm wow, the I double pause for the easy win. Oh, lost this. That's so hard. I should have made it like 8.5 line. <laughs> <laughs> Do we want to start penalizing him based on how badly he loses? Like if Come it's like on. An extra like four pauses no. or something, then he has to put in another chip. Wait, wait, wait. I bet below the line. I said five. You said below. I said the, over. The line was five, five, point five. right? I said over. I said below. Oh, you're going to lose too. Sweet. Quick double kill for Maybe. me. Maybe. This one on TC apparently he can't move his hero. That's that's Re a bit of a problem. Reborn? That might be a problem. We'll see now. He'll probably come back, and this could be a quick third pause if it didn't resolve the issue. <laughs> and then we're only one away. Not even five minutes. Barely five minutes into this game. All right. Looks like he can't move it around. Is moving his hero. All right. So Owie, they dropped the sentry. Oh, hello, a little yellow goblin surprise. But they're snowballing back onto the Shadow Fiend. They want to go for the deep dive. They should be able to get Yawar. That's the bigger kill. Do they make it out, though? Stinger deploying the sigil. And now Van turning, looking to fight. 
Now he's salving up. Beautiful plays here from the Wolves. Can they make it out? Bulba in range, but Van pretty fast with the phase boots. They wear off now. He's still got the regen going from the ultimate. It's going to wear off soon. Who do they commit for? That actually fails the cogs, and Van walks away. They also forced out two additional TPs. Massive win there yeah. for the Wolves. They drew a lot of attention to that mid lane, and I can't believe they were able to get in and out without being too, too hardly punished. All right, six-minute rune. Is he going to get a bounty? Oh, top lane, though. Snowball in. Mystical very low, but they're going to turn it right back and around onto TC. There's going to be the shards. TC could have turned around and killed both of them. I mean, Mystical's still very low. But he, he could have killed both of them. He just saw a snowball and was like, I don't want oh, anything to do with this. No. And ran away. Maybe he didn't see that the Undying was actually in the snowball as well because it yeah, I don't think he realized tower, how low of a level the both those heroes are. He could have he just turned around and killed both. Didn't happen, though. So he did get a bounty rune. Yep. I'm dying, gonna make the long trek back. Does Bulba go for the follow up rocket? No, it's on cooldown. So Misko lives to fight another day. Owie, maybe looking for a courier snipe. Gets the ward behind the tower. And they're gonna play safe with that courier. The smart play. Rotation in. Stinger's gonna be the. Temporary courier to kind of hand things off. Owie will kind of get the idea. Looks like he's going to be heading elsewhere. TC continues his farm. What happened to our Undying? Oh, he's smoking and running all the way back. No early soul rip for him. Just the Just early personal smoke tombstone. to get back to lane, huh? I guess when you don't want to be using your TP scroll and want to hold it for a possible future fight. You don't really get there that much faster. I mean, I mean, you waste the smoke. I'm sure it's not worth I mean, it. Yeah, that <laughs> is, that is not worth. Hard times. If they gave you like double move speed, maybe it would be worth it. But the lane was pushed anyway. It's not worth it even then. <laughs> sentry gonna be a little off the mark to scout the other sentry. But they know something's still there. How he points out how it's a bit lower. Oh, that actually is a vision. I thought that was out. Oh. Sure, it's a graphical thing. Reborn. Now they're going to find Owie. Another dust is ready, and they roll in. They are beginning to seriously punish the bounty hunter. Oh. With the hook from Bulba. Smash going to end up outside the cogs. Maybe should have stayed there to help out Stinger. They're going to try to split the, rock, the battery assault damage, oh. and now he'll go down as well. Stinger able to get away. The long range lob comes in from Alk, who was hoping for a bounty rune, but only gets a regen. Bulba still play. doing work on the clockwork. No hook available. But may try for the tower dive as Stinger is sticking around in the ultra low zone. This is very dangerous. Sam? Nice shards. Rocket, not enough. Bulba diving. More. He wrangles in Masoku. Where's the backup gyrocopter? Is TPing in. This could cost Bulba his life. It probably does. A smash has phase boots. That can play snowball forward. On to three. Nice cold embrace though by Buryu keeping him alive. Dust gets activated. But Rocket Barrage being hitting mostly creeps. Finally, the call down comes through. Smash, what's the extra kill? He's got a salve available. He's going to pop it quickly. On to Burr, you could end up with a triple. Bulba scrambles and will TP away. Bulba so. god, though. Man, space created by Bulba. Not afraid to go deep. Managed to walk away with another support life. We'll lose a couple of their own. Smash could be happy to claim two of them, but all the if more you, space. If you hear the way Sam talks about this hero, like... You can tell when... when You'd think when, he was in love with it. Yeah, yeah. When, when he plays it, he's just so much more confident. Uh, you can see the difference in his movements. Alk is farming reasonably well. I would say this is like a average to slightly below average Alk mid game. Van not feeding, not getting tons of bounty runes. Decent CS, but Have they been not they've incredible been either. Stacks-ish, I'd say as well. It's not like... I don't think he's been completely neglected from even side stacks. I'm not too sure, though. I didn't check the early part, but it seems like he's on good time to get a Radiance. Fair time. Not God tier, but... Yeah, and then, no. then the question is, what does what is the Wolves' game plan with the Radiance? Though, is they are going to TP in mid, showing the Undying. Now going to show a, thir a second hero moving through the lane. This may be detected by DC. They didn't actually see the smoke, but they're likely to be suspicious. They should know that something is happening. Oh, burn you. They saw three heroes just walk to that er area. Oh, the Midas Fiends. This used to be a thing. Bounty. I'll burn you. He sees it. He knows he's up against an Alk, and he really wants to prevent the Bounty Rune grab as a cooldown will clip burn you. Oh, no. He just skates out. He really? was ready to go in the Arctic Burn as if he's like, I know that the second I shell myself, there's going to be trouble. Honestly, even though they don't get the kill and they blow smoke, that's totally worth it for the Bounty oh, Rune. Oh, yes. 
That's the relic right now for Elk. They're going to be fine. Bottom lane. DC pull out a smoke themselves. Bulba leading out the charge. Has Hookshot ready to go with a DD in his bottle. And he gets a nice little catch here on a Masoku. Traps the big ugly bird and goes Bulba down. Bulba Clock. Bulba Clock. Doing Bulba Clock things. Creating space for his team. Setting up kills. Now he needs to try to slow down the Elk. That would be the ideal move from here. DC first, they're going to focus on the tower. This will be the gateway into the Radiant Jungle. Try to limit the stack game. And it looks like Wolves will not contest, though. Instead, try to trade for a tier one in the mid lane. Glyph comes out. Rocket comes out. A warning shot from the clock. The bottom tower falls. They will not commit. Don't quite have the firepower they're looking for. Van wants his Radiance. And there's the recipe. So, 11 and a half minute Radiance with that extra bounty rune. This is... Probably about standard elk timing, I would guess. Maybe slightly above average. Mm -hmm. But where, where's the buildup that you... Oh, hold on. They're going for call down mid lane. Hits on nothing. Just a zone and call down. It's like, where... At what point is Alchemist ready to begin fighting? Is it when he gets his early six slot? I mean, there was a point when, you know, we saw DC wait too long with it. He's got Radiance now. You build into, what, your your Manta, and then your first big tanky-ish item, like an AC, and then it's go time? You know what I've noticed with all these Alchemist games? He gets super farmed, but the rest of his team is just not there and not ready. So... Oh, well, Bulba, a narrow miss on Van. That hurts. So, he might be ready to farm, but his team definitely isn't, and he can't just 1v5. Well, that's the Alk factor, though, and that's something you yeah. do commit for when you pick this hero on your team, is that you know that he'll be... Not just ahead of the other team by so much, if gets a good game, but also your own team. Yeah, well, the, when you ask when are they going to be ready to fight, his own team needs to be ready to fight. Because Radiance is it's a farming item. It's not really a f fighting item. Their lineup, though, does say that they can take fights early, though. Undying, Tusk. I know Visage will need some if time. If he wants to fight, he's going to need... A BKB, I think. There's a Blade Mal. You've got a ton of nuke damage from Shadow Fiend. <coughs> Problem is, it's not really a full solution for DC. They have a lot of physical damage. They have the Winter's Curse. So I, oh. I think it's going to be quite a while before he wants to fight, unless his team gets a good initiation and he can kind of run in and clean up. Span. We'll rotate to the Ancients now. They're chasing on the bull, but popping a dust. But nobody is there to greet him. Smash even moseying. And suddenly Wolves in pretty far, looking to just dive the tower. They scout up Buryu, Snowball in. He does not get off a Cold Embrace. Will quickly drop to this. Now Stinger moves forward, but TC is dealing a hell of a lot of damage as they look to focus him down. Misko committing heavily for this on the other side of the fight. The Tusk drop. TC stunned up, finished off by Masoku. And now Shadow Fiend will explode and pause number four as I close in on winning the bet. Is that four or three? That's four. Because there was a pause at the start of the game, double pause, and this is the fourth. We already okay. have the fourth pause. So, so yeah. Owie's coming. Owie has a level three shuriken. Probably get smash here. Oh yeah, smash, smash. I can see smash dying. Um, and Masoku's Masoku probably, can probably die. He's probably dead. Um, it'll most likely be just the alchemist surviving. And his ult's about to wear off, so he probably does not fight with the stun also on cooldown. But, I mean, that's where Al can fight if the whole team runs in first and he just kind of follows up and isn't the focus focal point of the engagement. Well. This is cool. Oh, Got to be frustrating for the players here. Let's see if Smash makes it out. Tracked up almost instantly. And now he looking for the initiation. Dust gets popped, but he will go down in the end. Masoku, the birds killing off Bulba. A four for three. And the Gold Swain heavily favoring Wolves there. Although that didn't actually count all the deaths. You know, there that, you go. that was actually a really good presence of mind by Sam. He shoots the rocket. To the uh, to the gyro instead of the uh, the visage. The right visage, who was right probably not dying. There. Yeah, yeah. Really good presence of mind there. Oh, does Van get the bounty now? This could be sweet. Yes, he does. Yasha up, Manta incoming. Like this is pretty standard. And then it's always the question: Does he commit fully to himself, get the Octarine, go for AC Abyssal, or does he stop off for an Agadim Scepter too for the squad? Because as you mentioned. There's some really game-changing eggs here. Undying, Visage, just anything but that damn Walrus kick. Mm, I haven't really felt like this Undying has been very scary this game. 
Uh, he's he had some presence that fight. Drop the tomb, zombies galore. He didn't really do a whole lot in the laning stage, but that's partially because of the lane matchup. Razor Wyvern, one of the tougher matchups, I would say, for the Tusk Undying off lane. Howie's pretty rich. Wow, yeah, 1,400 gold. Yeah, he got the kill on the gyro. Yeah. Big bounty gold coming his way. Good catch on the smash. What do you invest this money in? A medallion. Oh, they're going to dive. Hello, you are. Quick initiation. Call down comes out. Tons of burst damage. The Midas getting punished. No rotation. This time, DC not ready with a teleport. Easy tier one. Maybe they do want the Vista Jags first. Uh oh, Masoku. Sam's found one. But there's a zombie. That's the Vanguard oh, in the home. Sam? Will not connect Bulba. Sam. Oh, no. In trouble. Almost uh, dead to a soul assumption. The snowball will finish the job. And now they're looking for more Buryu. Also grabbed, snagged, and turned in. Owie trying desperately to get some track kills for the team. They're going to curse Stinger. And he dies to the zombie. But the trade is a third kill with TC being pursued. Familiar is looking to cut off the path. And Misko going in. Four kills and possibly five. As Owie is dusted and now they dive the tower. Misko tracked, but still 240 HP. Alk looking for the stun. Oh, Does he get it? it? Does Take he it. get it? Self stun at least. Oh. Owie down. A full five man wipe. And Misko barely living through the zombies. Well, Wolves are back in the game and then some. They're definitely back. That was a uh, poor play coming out of Bulba Clock. Do you think the Midas on Yawar was a mistake? Or is this just not executing it well? I, I think he dies there regardless of whether he, or not he has a Midas or or I don't know. Or the and then he went Yasha. Yasha as well. So he went very farming and kind of greedy with both of his first two items. Yeah. I guess I the, the main other item would be mech, but I, you probably want your bounty hunter getting that. No, Maybe he feels pressured to, to keep up with the, uh, the alchemist. Mm -hmm. Which he's, I mean, he's not getting as far behind, but uh, you're, not gonna, you're not going to keep up with an alchemist. He doesn't know yeah, that. <laughs> you can try to stay somewhat in the neighborhood, but that's about it. Manta now complete. Van ramping up. Did not go for the BOTs. That's the only thing slightly going to slow down his farm. But oh, They saw now that the bounty's still actually bought him. And yeah, Van's like, oh, me. <laughs> his mm. rune luck has been heating up. This is, I think, three bounties. Well, he got in the invis at top and then just kind of far mid, and it wasn't until the tusk happened to be like, hey, it's still there. Van's like, sweet. And they're confident. They want to start five manning. They've, they, lately, they've been doing a really good job of staying together. Hmm. So now we notice he got radiance burned? Doesn't look like it. Oh, he pinged. Yeah. He knows the Alks in the neighborhood now. And Van actually going to run towards him, but they do not particularly want to take a fight. As TC will split push the top tier two. Wolves looking for a tier one bottom. So yeah, now's the decision time for Van. Give teammates an eggs, farm for yourself. We're oh, you find farm for soon. yourself. I would agree. Slap chopper's coming. Can he get a hold of your war? Concoction's gonna be out. Snowball to roll on in. Now he's the only close person, but that bounty hunter gonna, gonna be helping no one. War goes down at the same moment. Looks like Smash will also be dropped. Bulba didn't Sam even look for that. He got a solo <laughs> kill. How did that happen? I, I uh, think Gyro Rocket Barrage while well, he was blade, blade mailed. mailed. Yeah. yeah. It's that nice timing window when you can get the jump with a blade mail on your clockwork over a Gyro before the BKB is going to be complete. He's forcing him to go for first item BKB. Yeah. That's very unideal as a, as a Gyrocopter. So this is Bulba's chance. Get every little hook shot catch on Smash while you can before that BP, BKB does come together. Hmm. The Tusk play has been really good from Stainer here in the mid game. He's set up, I think, pretty much every kill they've had. And they've had... How many is it? Well, I guess not... I feel like the pips are missing. But... I don't know. It's eight kills maybe over the past five minutes. Yeah, big snowball plays. Good setups. Now good a gem on Ban. Ooh, that's an interesting grab. A little D-Ward action. Yeah, that is. A bit yeah, he's he's really he really is the new Naga Siren. <laughs> Even right down to the illusions with True Sight. Does rid of the kind of mind game factor of just a bounty hunter being in the game. Now they can feel a bit more confident standing around their big bruiser. Going back to mid lane here in the meantime. Owie, back at bottom. 
TC, who had been mostly farming the top lane, looks like he's going to be pushing forward into that SMY. I guess doesn't really need to worry about too much as the BKB department for this game. Soku, no early pickup of any sort of ags there. No new item progression on Mystico. So the cores are farming up nicely. Supports are still kind of waiting in the back a bit. Bounty room number four in a row. You betcha. Wow. Possibly straight to Roche. All right. And a Midas coming on for Stinger. After and, uh, picking up a mech. DC doesn't really know right now. So They they are now playing NA Dota's game. <laughs> Wolves are all, all on board for this. Right, you guys want to play now. greedy? That's fine. We'll pick Alchemist. Start building Midas's. We're uh -huh. going to match you. All right. They know now. But uh, they can't do anything. They're really it. out of position. It looks like DC just going to try to gonna take the high ground. Yeah, it's a pretty slow siege, to be honest, though. Rocket coming in. Bulba in position as Masoka looks to body block this. Roche will fall. Aegis grabbed successfully. And they will retreat. Does Bulba cancel TPs? Doesn't look like it. They'll let them all go. No sort of easy way for E-Wolves to catch any of DC as they head out. Yeah, DC just did not feel confident in their team fight there. You're walking in the pit against Requiem. Or, uh, sorry, uh, call down, Acid Spray. Tombstone. Tombstone on the high grounds. Not easy for Clock to get in there, as you And saw. they don't have a good hero to really snipe the tube, so... So, I think that's the right play, even though it kind of sucks. Yeah, just like, what, TC and your war to get that high ground tombstone. But if they're busy with that, that means... And they both got double Yasha, which is not, like, the ideal build if you want to be running and fighting at this stage, so... Back to the SNY for the Razor. Shadow Fiend... Let's go Manta Manta. will be coming soon. A little different for your war. What's the uh, significance of having to go with Manta this game? You can Maybe dodge the Alk stun. Yeah, dodging Alk stun. He's got to have some really good timing on that. Pretty decent timing. I don't think it's that hard. You just have to be cognizant of it. It's also like if the Alk catches you off guard or if he snowballs on top of you where you have no chance to react with the tusk, then mitigate rocket barrage damage. Sure. Yeah, Maybe it also helps, helps against that. And Gyro's yeah. so poor, you're not worried about him killing off your illusions right away anyway. Yeah, Smash is getting pretty close to this BKB. I would figure it's something uh, that they might want to wait for before making this kind of a push. Snowball and they they're diving. In. Deep dive. They are going to block off Yawar with the shards. Waller's punch, but a nice winter curse onto two from Biryu. They're still going to get the finish onto Yawar. And now Stinger looking to pull back. DC nice are thing. just forced into the defensive here. They're playing so passively, and you really can't win the farm game against a Midas on Tusk. And Alku's had not free farm, but good farm. <laughs> Which for Alchemist is, means ridiculous. This is a farming Alco, yeah. and they're actually going to take fights. He's got heart, and there's no AA this game. This is, this guy's going to be like impossible to kill, honestly. All right, uh, I think... Oh, the, the courier went back to base, but he does have a heart on it. As Misko gets hooked, caught out. Bulba not expecting no. the zombie there. He's going to go down too, it looks Oof. like. Eyes bigger than your stomach on that one. I, I yeah. see the ambition there, but their team was not in a position They're dead for, the for 30. Oh, what is going on with this courier? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, he wanted his heart, and then he got sent back for the BKB. Then someone starts sending it back again. Uh, the recipe's still in the stash, so they're not going to have it for the push. That sucks for Van. This could actually be an opportunity for DC. Well, no clockwork, though, for it. Honestly, if you're Wolves, you just back seconds. here. You don't have your heart on Alk. Smash is really low HP. There is no reason to force There's that. There's still time they can step back, get the heart, and then have... A couple of minutes on this Aegis to oh. maybe go for a <laughs> This time push. he doesn't get a bounty. Mercy on DC. I think um, next push, though, it's going to be really hard for DC to, to really bat them away. It's going to have a heart. Um, Jawar is not keeping up at all and died like six times. I honestly think Wolves could just wait for AC on Alk if they really want, and then go. They need to get one of those fights where, um, if if Alk is sieging with uh, with his heart, Wolba needs to hook onto him and then push him back with Cogs, and, and then, then isol the isolate him from the rest of the team, and then drain his damage with Razor. I think yeah. that is how the ideal fight goes for uh, Digital Chaos. It's a tall order, but if anybody can deliver on the clock. Elite Should Wolves are preparing for it. I like the call. Mystico is going to be going for a four staff, which seems pretty necessary against your clockwork. So if the Alk does get caught, at least he has an out. 
Oh, they ping TC. Saying he's not in position to defend this tower. We can force it. But they are lacking the Undying. I think DC may just be scared into giving it up. They see the Alk with a heart. Yeah, they, just, they give this Start up. They're defending high ground. Just give it up. Try and get as much farm as you can on your other heroes. And then TP to defend. Hmm. Do Wolves go Roach now? Is the... Uh Oh wait, sorry. The, it's, it's already it's gone. It looks like they're gonna go down mid lane. They just drew it out now. It's gonna mm. expire soon. I think maybe you wait for next rush and then go. Um, Safe play, probably get the AC, wait for next rush, then break the base. They almost have the AC. Does anyone on their team have a four staff? They oh, have just, undying's building. Uh, one. They have one on undying. You got one. Okay, that's it's gonna be super important for uh, mm -hmm. whatever clockwork shenanigans Bulba pulls out. I think that's that's the way that DC gets into this game. Some amazing Boba clockwork play. All right. It's AC time. Godzilla Alk is in the house. And this is like this is where you want the Alk to be really forcing the issue and trying to control the game. None of that. All right, let's farm for another 30 minutes while everyone else comes online. Nonsense. Bubble gets his own clock, uh, own four staff now. It's nice. TC, though, holding on 2k gold. What does he need to build up? Does he need to continue to take up a bit so he can get the most out of sapping the damage? You're, you're calling out for the ideal play that Bulba isolates, bumps back this alchemist here. But how much emphasis are they going to need to itemize more firepower over maybe TC building up his own AC, let's say? I think he, he definitely needs that. Um, that's that, a so lot of nuke damage. Yeah, so so the the big problem with TC in all these fights right now is that he's been dying so fast. He hasn't been able to sort of stick around and get off a long uh, static link. All right, it's go time. No waiting for the second Roche. Wolves want the base, and they want it now. That's what I like. Get in there and get it done. And he's saving the chemical rage for when he really needs it. Van, not using it to siege quicker. And now he'll let it go after taking a decent amount of chip damage, instantly up to full health with 107 HP regen per second. Quick static link ended, and now the Manta deployed. They have Bulba on the sidelines here, perhaps looking for the hook from the bottom, but track goes the way of Van, and they are going to scout Bulba out. They uppercut him with Stainer, trying to keep him off the buildings. The rest of the team it's struggling to deal with Godzilla. Uh, no, the, the, it's gone. It's gone. Just, It is what it is. They'll take what they want and they'll leave. Right, well, they're wolves, happy. wolves just go mid then. If, if they're going to give up Rax that easy, why not? Probably want to push out the lanes. Bottom and mid both very exposed. Advances off the track, but it doesn't look like they're going to go in for a round two, though, LB. Yeah, that's a smart retreat. Back. Not not just like TPing out a hero near the dire base. They know some heroes are tracked. Yeah, I think you get a. You need a BKB on your Razor as well. Yeah, I think so too. Even a soul assumption is a lot of damage to him at this stage. Yeah, it looks like that's what he's going for. I just don't know if it's enough. It's like he needs the BKB, but he also needs more damage and physical mitigation. So like you'd like to have an AC and even maybe an Ags as well, but or something like the MKB that we often see from Fada, but he's not gonna have time for that. Oh, guys, we may have a game three on our hands if Wolves play this properly. Mm. Well, DC for and now. I may, we'll I may still let yet lose the pause bet. <laughs> yeah, right? So far, so good. I was not going to say anything, though. <laughs> Betting on the over with pauses is awkward, though, because then you, you're rooting for pauses, which is not something you ever want to do. You're rooting for pauses. No, I'm saying, yeah, for me, because I bet on the over. Not me. It's the thing, though, I'm sure Elite Wolves are now going to go down that safe path. Get the AC, which is already done, plus frickin' 3,500 gold on top of it. What does Smash have? Just a BKB and an ultimate orb. Okay. Looks so like he may be going... So basically Scotty. nothing. Yeah. He's very poor. He can get pulled in eggs. Yep. Yeah, that's... It's a fun item. It's not a good item. <laughs> Stats, though. All right, you guys... DC, they have to they have to make a defense here. Where's the Bulba magic? They need it now. They really do. 
Not going to get it. Easy tier three. Now Van looking to siege away on the first set of racks. Something has to be done. Oh. A force forward into a nice little Winter's Curse. Sat the damage I, I being like sacked that. away from TC. Now he's going to be able to whip through. This Alchemist here can't finish him off. However, they're going to be losing Owie. He's going to make it out alive. And now starts regenerating all that life back. A double kill for Smash. And now with four down on the side of Digital Chaos, it looks like we're going to be going to a game three. Yeah, that was just too little too late for that play. That was basically the perfect old attempt, but they just didn't have the damage. Yeah. Well, that felt more like a uh, Dota game right there. Elite Wolves. They played a... That, that's a good out game. I mean, that was good timing for if him. If Wolves win this game, we are guaranteed a first ever South American team at a Valve event. Mm -hmm. No matter what. So, very exciting moment here for the Peruvian fans. Of course, for Digital Chaos, not out of it yet. Pretty one-sided games, I have to say, overall. This game was close early. I, th I think it was, it was close early. It fell apart fairly DC, quickly. Um, well, what crumbled. was the tipping point, gentlemen? What was it? I think it was that fight top when they gave up three kills, one at a time. Like mm -hmm. They just kept on running in, getting picked off. and oh, like That's what awkward, Wolves like to do. Miss hook shot and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wolves yeah. like to group. They, they're they kind of similar to C-Deck, I think, in that sense, sure. where they like to fight a lot around like the 10-minute mark. Right. So That was probably it for me. Woo. I've got right. some good bounty run luck down the stretch as well. Yeah, but ultimately it came down to that bad fight they took top when Yuar got picked off and then Bulba stayed around for too long trying to, to hope for something. But um, I think that's one of the things that DC also needs to be mindful of, of is just, you know, realize what is a sunk cost. Mm. They just never got any track kills really after the early game. Oh, that, that yeah. was unfortunate. After that fight, mm -hmm. the bounty hunter was a non-factor. Wyvern's... Non factory, just hope right. you get a big winter's curse. That's it. All right. Good game. The less pauses, felt like the teams both. Oh, that's down. right. You, uh, I lost, so I start off the okay. way that I ended. Apologies, Mr. Benjamin Wu. The first chip of round three is non 